Hi guys, this is Felice Weaver from BlackGirlTravel.com and I'm coming to you with a new video blog because I am going under the knife tomorrow. Um, yep, I'm going to do it. Uh, so I thought um, I would um, do a video blog uh, to tell you guys all about the process and a little bit about how I got to this decision in hopes that maybe someone else that's thinking about doing this uh, will find um, some information that will be helpful to them. I remember when I was doing my research, uh, there were very few, very few black women, if any out there, I should say, that uh, had done what I'm doing, you know, that would give me some feedback that I could go with. And, you know, anyone that knows me know I'm all about empowering African-American women with information. So going along with that, I, I decided to do this video blog. So the backstory. Um, I, I was once a model. Yes, all this fabulousness was once a model. And I remember when I was modeling, you know, light years ago in a land far, far away that um, me and some of the other girls, you know, we would joke around about having our, um, about starting us a maintenance fund. And uh, a maintenance fund is basically, um, you know, where you don't, you know, you put a little money away, you know, for uh, the day, you know, that will come when you will have to um, do, you know, some maintenance, you know, on your body, your face, whatever, you know, it's basically the type of fund that rich women have, you know, but, you know, working girls have to save up for it. So uh, it has, the day has come for me to, uh, what can I say, for me to cash in on my maintenance fund. So uh, tomorrow I am um, going to uh, have some work done. I am going to have a correction done on this little, um, right here, this little double chin that I have here. Uh, it's so funny, around the same time when I was modeling, I was thinking about getting my nose done. I always thought that my nose was a little long and a little out of balance, a little predominant on my face. And I had gone in and I had talked to a, a plastic surgeon back then. And he had basically told me as I got older that I was going to develop, um, I was going to develop a double chin and also, you know, because I have an overbite, you know, my, my lower to my lower teeth sit back a little bit, which gives me a weak chin. And as I got older, I was going to get, um, this, um, this, extra something down here. Well, fast forward 2011 and here it is. Well, actually it's been a slow process and I've been kind of watching it over years, but it's finally gotten to a point where I want to do something about it. So, um, I've, you know, done a lot of consultations. I took quite, about a year to make this decision. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't doing it uh, for the wrong reasons. I wasn't doing it because any type of peer pressure or because, you know, I didn't feel good about myself in general. I wanted to make sure that I was healthy and whole, you know, both, you know, physically and mentally, you know, enough to make this decision and make sure that I was doing it for me and not because of what someone else might think or, you know, to fit in or anything like that. And, you know, and I talked to a lot of my friends about it and you know and of course I got pros and cons you know a lot of them were talking to me you know about I'm, I'm not going to be myself anymore you know that I should be willing to you know uh, grow old gracefully you know um, and all this well you know and you know natural stuff and you know I, my grandma would always say natural is overrated you know funk is natural you know <laughs> so you know so much for natural you know people you know men shave their heads you know to uh, hide the fact that they're you know n naturally balding you know people you know as they get older they work out to you know to hide the fact that you know they're you know naturally going you know gaining weight which is part of the aging process so you know we all do you know what we you know what we want to do and what we feel we need to do to feel good about ourselves and then this is something that I have really truly decided that I wanted to do for me and I actually realized that if I didn't do it I was doing it because of what other people were thinking, you know, so it's kind of kind of weird how that works out. But I really came to peace with that and knew that, you know, if I didn't do it, I would always be unhappy because I I was doing it because uh, what other people thought that I, I shouldn't do. Uh, so uh, and, and so I'm going to do it. And, and since I was in there, I figured I was going to do I would do a little preventative work also because I you know I have, you know, my grandmother's face and, I'm, and you know, rest, you know, I'm, you know, I lost her back in uh, April, you know, and uh, I shouldn't have I shouldn't say I have her face, but I have a lot of her features. And uh, one of the things I do notice that I am getting um, her jawing down here also. So I figured since um, I was going in for my chin, I would also uh, do a little preventative work and have um, my jaws you know lifted a little bit so that as I get, start to get older it will slow that process down a little bit too so 
So I'm doing it tomorrow. Uh, I am doing it. Uh, the doctor, his name is Dr. Simone. Uh, he is in Beverly Hills. Um, he's a re renowned uh, surgeon in Beverly Hills. I have gone in to see him for, for about four consultations. Actually, I think I was driving him a little crazy, uh, but I wanted, really wanted to make sure that I was comfortable with it. Uh, and um, it's, it's, it's kind of odd because um, the procedure will not be under a general. It's actually going to be under a local. So I'm going to be wide awake while all of this is happening. So all while all they're doing is stuff on my face, I am going to be absolutely wide awake doing it. Uh, and I know some people were saying, thinking, you know, Felice, you shouldn't be telling people this. You know, a lot of people that do stuff like this, you know, they just go on their vacation, you know, and come back and people will just say, you know, they look well, you know, rested, you know, and are they, you know, that they just, you know, they look better and they don't know what it is and they don't tell people. And I, you know, and I think... Uh, you know, just tell, you know, it's no big deal, you know, everybody, you know, you just do you, you know, if you don't want to tell anyone, that's fine, that's your business, but I think that, you know, in, in telling other people, you have an opportunity to help others make, help them with decisions, you know, and, you know, to me, it's nothing to hide, you know, it, to me, it's just me doing me, you know, either, you know, you get it or you don't, you know, but at the end of the day, I've got to be happy with me. So, and I figure, you know, yes, you know, it, it is, you know, it puts myself out there a little bit, you know, because, you know, there are some people who are definitely going to have some negative things to say about it, you know, and, but hopefully the ones that have had something negative to say that there'll be more positive that come out of it than the negative, you know, it is, you know, it is a little vulnerable. Uh, well, should I say it puts me in a vulnerable position, but, you know, it, I think in our vulnerability, uh, it allows us to be, that's when we are our most authentic, you know, when you allow yourself to be, you know, vulnerable. I actually even thought about, you know, when I was going to do this video, whether, you know, I was going to put any makeup on and everything like that, but I actually wanted you to see me 100% raw, you know, see me with zero makeup on, so that when you see the process, you know, because what I'm going to do is blog about, you know, you know, how the procedure went, you know, show you the recovery process, and, and eventually, you know, in six or seven weeks down the road, you know, actually see you you will see the final product and you know at that time you know decide whether or not you know it was worth it you know if I had a chance to do it again whether um, I would you know I would do it again you know so hopefully you know everything will go great tomorrow I'm feeling really good about it of course I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't um, you know I you know I'm all prayered up I, I would love it if you guys sent me a little extra prayers tomorrow. I'm going in uh, at uh, 9.30 Los Angeles time. I should be done, I guess, about 2 o'clock. It's not a really long procedure, so I, so I should be back home by about 2. Uh, and I can't say I'm going to be blogging right away. I've got, I, I understand I'm going to be on some, some pretty strong narcotics. Uh, I think they're giving me Vicodin. Uh, I'm not one for really like liking to take Vicodin. Uh, I'm really kind of, you know, I've never done drugs or anything like that. I've always been afraid, you know, that I would get addicted, so I'm, you know, but, you know, I, I don't like drugs, but I don't like pain more. So, um, so I'll probably be on some really good drugs tomorrow. If I fact that I feel that I can talk to you guys, I will definitely log on and update um, the, the the log and kind of let you see. You know, I'm sure I'm going to be all bandaged up and all bruised up and swollen and all that good stuff. Well, I shouldn't say good stuff, but all that stuff. You know, um, and I, I will let you guys follow me uh, through the healing process and then for the final, you know, unveiling of. Um, uh, Felice 2.0. So until then, I will see you guys um, tomorrow, hopefully. And if not, I'll see you day after tomorrow and give you the update on the procedure. Until then, bye.